Hi there. Uh, Ronnie here. Coming at you with a video. Um, had a conversation with one of my, my close friends uh, on Thursday. And I mentioned something and it, it, it's had me thinking the last few days. Um, so I thought I'd voice it. There's an awful lot of bad stuff going on in the world at the moment. Uh, situation in Ukraine. Uh, situations in America. Situations here in Britain, Europe. whole world over just seems to be. As uh, David Niven, the actor, once quoted... Um, you know, it seems like the world is on the on the verge of a nervous breakdown. Um, at that time, he was referring to uh, the Vietnam War and its coverage on television and all the uh, the protests. And what I said to my friend was. I am watching the news less and less these days. And it is not out of a wish to be ignorant. Nor is it a wish to, uh, to, to, to be, um, you know, is it any sort of lack of caring on my part, quite the opposite. But the truth is, I find the world such a dark place at times, and I find it difficult to cope. And I have been finding well, so much negativity going on in the news, uh, you know, and, and obviously the pandemic having compounded that. Um, I have found it very difficult to watch with any sort of objective eye, just just getting the facts. It affects me, and that's that's not that's not me saying anything that um, is unique. Um, the stuff that's going on should affect people. In fact, I'm more scared, as I said to my friend of Thursday, I'm more scared of the people that aren't affected by it. But I suppose I've always been a soft spot. I've always been very emotional. And we kind of all agreed when we're talking on the Thursday. I said it's not that um, it's not that we think about things too much. It's that we feel it so so deeply, and it upsets us. And I I can't cope. Is the truth of it? Um, I can't cope with the situation, and I have found myself having to make the choice between being fully informed on the minutia of a thing or taking a step back in my mental health. I refuse to do the latter. And so I don't watch the news so much. Uh, I'm hardly ever on Twitter now. Occasionally I'll go on, mostly because uh, uh, my friend Kirsty is, is very active on there. I never want to get a hold of her and uh, sort of message her. Uh, it's, it's faster to do it on Twitter. Um, and uh, Yvonne as well. 
but the truth is I find I find it all too difficult at the moment um, and it's just decades ago there was a news anchor uh, worked for both ITN and the BBC by the name of Martin Lewis not the Martin Lewis who does the rounds now as a money expert here in the UK but he was a, a, a an anchor and a well respected one and he got into trouble for uh, putting forward the idea that there should be more positive news. What usually happened was a bit of sort of fun news, silly bit of news, was put as the the last item in a news bulletin. This this was before the days of twenty four hour news that we have now. Um, news at ten, which was the kind of main sort of evening news bulletin from from ITV ITN. Uh, it was called the and finally section because that's literally how it would start you know they would do a quick recap of the main headlines and and finally and it would be some heartwarming story and martin lewis put forward the idea of uh having more positive news and he got pilloried for it at the time. You know, everyone sort of saying, "Oh, he, he, he's 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 wanting to dumb down the news and everything." And the 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 idea never took off. I tell you what, I think he was onto something. I really do. I think he was onto something. I think he saw the way news was heading. Um, and the truth is, with 24 hour news now, and not just 24 hour news, but 24 hour partisan news, um, it's not as. It's not as prevalent in the UK, although it's getting that way. But certainly in America, you have uh, 24 hour news channels that are very much uh, skewed to the left of politics and those are skewed to the right. It doesn't seem to be any that are just there to give the facts. They're all about opinions, sort of left leaning, right leaning and wherever you lie on the spectrum tends to be what news you listen to I have found myself becoming more and more frustrated with the 24 hour news cycle they seem to be wallowing in the misery of life and not showing enough balance which is what Martin Lewis had been talking about And you do have to wonder whether all this negativity pumped into our brains 24 hours a day by the news channels has had something to do with the slide sort of slide on a sort of global scale of population into depression. Because we really don't see a way out of it. And I realise that if I keep watching the news. If I keep sort of binging on it as I used to. I'm going to, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take serious steps backward in my, my, my recovery. And I can't afford that. 
Um, and it just it, I just find it utterly, utterly depressing and disheartening. And people might say, oh, but it's it's news that's not affecting you. It's not your life. It's, it's other people's and it's not affecting you. Why is it impacting you? Well, it's impacting me because I'm a human being. Um, I don't have to be living in the Ukraine to understand the horror of what's going on there and to feel for the victims. I don't have to be uh, non-white and understand the, the 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 problems of of everyday racism that they have to deal with. I don't have to be LGBT to understand the the discrimination that they go through and to empathise and to sympathise with those who are victim victimised by it. I don't have to I don't have to be the target to understand and empathize with those who are and it just depresses me and and don't get me wrong I never want to lose that empathy it's part of who I am I would hazard, I would be almost at the risk of sounding arrogant or obnoxious or anything else. I would like to think that my close friends may not always agree with my point of view, may not always agree with where my empathy lies, but I think they respect it and they know that whatever my my situation is it's always been from the point of view of not wanting to see the world in a worse state than it is and actually wanting to see people be decent to other people but it does it does depress me a great deal and as I say I, I find myself losing faith I've always had a great belief that for all the terrible stuff that's going on in the world that people in general are decent It's not a faith based on any religion or uh, spirituality or anything like that. It's, a, a, I guess, a faith in humanity. A humanist faith, I suppose. As, as contradictory a term as that might be. But I admit there are times. And those times are becoming more and more where I am having crises of faith and that's impacting me on a really really deep level because um, I don't want to lose that faith in humanity I don't want to be I don't want to be that guy who loses faith But that's where we are. Um, I am struggling with my health. Um, I do my best to try and hide it because stupid as I am as I ever am, I don't want don't want friends or family worrying. 
Um, but it's difficult. And, uh, yeah. So, I'm very glad I get to do this. Um, not just my usual stuff and my RPGs and board games and so on, but sometimes just being able to put it out there and voice it. I find it helpful, um, as depressing as it might be to watch. But, uh, yeah, I just thought I'd put that out there. Anyway, um, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll be back soon with another video. Hopefully a bit more upbeat.